One question is, uh, can you explain the some sort of relationship between Parinispana, Trisva Bhava Nirdesha, and Buddha nature? Wow. That sounds like a PhD topic. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, first of all, Vasubandhu in his text, it doesn't, it is not about Buddha nature, right? It's about the three natures. Mm. So he doesn't explicitly talk about that. And of course, the connection between the three natures and Buddha nature is <clears throat> made by other people. And particularly in the Shantong tradition, then. Um, there are some Indian precursors who also do that. Interestingly, in some commentaries on the Prajnaparamita Sutras, and there's some debate whether one of these is by Vasubandhu or not, which hasn't been ultimately resolved. Uh, where it is said that the Paranishpana is empty of both the Parikalpita and the Paratantra, which is usually not said in yoga in classical yogacara texts uh that is said that the parinishpana oh, sorry the paratantra being empty of the parikalpita being the parinishpana so but um the real joining of yogacara mater yogacara materials three natures and buddha nature teachings i think in india only happened Pretty, pretty late, like in some of the writings of uh, Ratnakara Shanti, Gyanashri Mitra, and a few others. But the mainstream of that happening in a big way was the Shantong then, starting with Dalpopa. And of course, you could say that the third Kamapa was sort of in that stream too, but he didn't call it Shantong. But he clearly connected Buddha nature and uh, the three natures in his writings.